Hello, my name is Midiara and today I'm going to show you the Wardorf Pulse Max for Live editor that I've created. Uh, this is going to be totally free so you can get it yourself if you're an Ableton user and you have a Wardorf Pulse Mark 1 you can get this from maxforlive.com let me just run through a little bit of it so you have all the parameters here for the Wardorf Pulse like filter cutoff In fact, every single parameter for the Ward of Pulse is here. You've got the modulation section on the right hand side, envelopes, uh, arpeggiator, Yeah, so you've got the whole lot here for the Wardorf Pulse, every single element. Uh, another great part of Max for Life is the automation, so if you change the automation page. Okay, you can see here in this track view that we have the MIDI notes here for the sequence playing. And if you press A in this view, you get the automation options, one of which is the Wardorf Pulse editor. So select that one and then below that you have all of the parameters for editing and automating. So if we go down to the filter, Good, so then everything can be automated, everything that you're working on can be saved within the track. Yeah, everything's changeable, everything's changeable. And what I'd like to do is show you how to make this editor. This was all made using uh, MIDI CCs, all these things are sending CC messages. And you can go to Ali Jameson's website, Zeros and Ones, to see part one of how to make this Wardorf Pulse editor. Part two will be out very soon, and I imagine it's going to be a few parts to get to this stage. But if you've never used Max for Life before, it's going to be a step by step guide about how to build everything that's within this piece of software. Thank you very much for watching. There will be more Max for Life stuff from me on the way. My name's Midiera, and I'll see you soon.